Hey, in today's video, I want to talk about the good and evil ENFP. But don't worry about it. I don't feel any judgment or negativity, and I think all ENFPs just have to figure out their own way. The way I see it, the good ENFP is an ENFP that is living in touch with their purpose. You are in tune with your ethics and your moral compass. You are pursuing your opportunities and possibilities. You stay attentive and aware of patterns and ongoing events. You read and figure out what's happening around you. You stay a step ahead of everyone else. You're a detective, a champion, a person that expresses and speaks out for what you believe is right. An evil ENFP then is a person that actually doesn't know, that is not aware of how they live and what they are doing. You are too caught up in all the chaos, in all the chaos of what's happening around you. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what patterns are emerging. You don't surf on or predict the trends that are happening around you. You are merely experiencing and being thrown around in the jungle that is indecisiveness. You don't know what decision to make or what opportunity to pursue. Instead, you find yourself going back and forth between all of them. You can't judge which opportunity or possibility is the best or which one is right. You just find yourself either not choosing any of them or trying to hold on to all of them. When other people do things, you do it as well because you don't trust yourself in your own compass. You surf on what everyone else is doing, what everyone else is saying. You get caught up, tossed around. Uh, there are things being told to you about what's right and wrong and you don't trust yourself in your own gut feeling. So you follow and do what the crowd does. The evil ENFP is a person in the grip of their autopilot. ENFPs that don't know their purpose and that don't think about their actions and the things that they do live meaningless lives and do meaningless things. And to do meaningless things is to do evil. To me, a person that does and acts without thinking is reproducing habits over and over again until they become toxic for yourself, for everyone else around you. It becomes difficult to be an ENFP in the grip of this meaninglessness or lack of purpose. If you're not thinking about what you're doing, if you're not thinking about what's right and wrong, if you're not trusting yourself, if you're not uh, loving yourself or supporting yourself or following or picking up on what's happening, you need to take a step back. So what you need to do is you need to find a pace that is true for you. Find your comfort pace and find the way that you can experience the world in a way that is right for you. That means live fast enough, but not too slow. <laughs> live not too fast, not too slow. That means live fast enough that you are able to constantly feed yourself a stream of new possibilities and new opportunities and new ideas but live slow enough that you have the time to make a decision on your gut about all the things that happen to you. Every single pattern needs to be evaluated and processed. You are not just a person experiencing new opportunities emerging. You are a person experiencing and processing and making decisions based on new patterns emerging. You are not the Watson being constantly tossed around, you are the Sherlock Holmes, the detective that is figuring out and tracking all the trends that are happening. That also means that you tap into your own psychic energy, your own libido, as Carl Jung would title it. You are constantly reliving and experiencing and pushing out your own energy into the world you are bringing things to the world you are not merely being brought the world to yourself the world is not just something that is constantly being torn or pushed on you you are not just making decisions because you felt angry or upset or because you felt afraid you don't run from a relationship as soon as it gets difficult in order to find something easy or fast you don't find yourself uh, 
second guessing every new opportunity or possibility or jumping back and forth between all of them because all of them sound great. Uh, you're a person that makes decisions and priorities, lists, a person that evaluates and sees which things go before which and in what order things must be done. There is a flow to creativity. It's not just chaos, even though we might sometimes feel like it is. Yeah, sometimes an ENFP might feel like everything is chaos, but your goal is to feel like the world is a roller coaster. That means there is so much things happening, but you are still in control. You still know what's happening. You are a person dancing with and moving with your environment, fixing and correcting and taking care of everything that's happening around you. You are able to stay in control of everything that's happening. You are able to stay ahead, one step ahead of everything that's going on. Not too many steps, just enough steps to know that you're aware and present in what's going on. When you chase too many possibilities, when you live too fast, when you do things too quickly, everything becomes extroverted sensing. <laughs> yeah, you are changing the energy. You are uh, pushing everything on to the point where it doesn't become energy that you are transforming, but rather it becomes an experience that you are being fed. When things are too slow and when uh, nothing is happening and when you are too indecisive to make any decision and when everything just becomes a possibility or an expectation for the future, you and your energy is becoming in the grip of introverted sensing. That means the stress, the anxieties of what and what ifs keep you from moving forward. First, learn to see extroverted intuition as your engine. Second, learn to see introverted feeling as the fuel. Third, learn to see extroverted thinking as the steering wheel. Finally, learn to see introverted sensing as the brakes. So learn to properly navigate all of these things. Propel yourself to a comfortable speed and brake if needed. Steer and steer clear of things that you don't need. Avoid opportunities that aren't for you. Let go of things that aren't for you and move towards what is for you. What do you think, what do you think it means to be an evil ENFP? compared to being a good ENFP. What do you think about my definition of an evil ENFP as a thoughtless one? Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.